In this lesson, we're going to look at the butterfly valve. We're going to look at some of the main components, and I'm going to explain to you what the advantages and disadvantages are of the butterfly valve. So let's get stuck in. We can see here we've got a butterfly valve. Let's do a short spin. This butterfly valve is actually a electrically actuated valve. We can see that on the top here, you can see the voltage and the power, etc. And that would be an electric motor. We've got on the top some form of indication. You can see it's open and now it is closed. Let me just zoom out and we can see that again. Opening up. And then it's going to move back to the closed position. When the disc in the center is in the closed position, we can see that it's in line with the body. Let me just back that up a moment. It is in line with the body and it is fully closed. If we move to the open position, we can see it is now fully open and the disc is aligned perpendicular to the body. So that's essentially how the butterfly valve works. I'll just push play so we can see it going again. It's a relatively simple operation. This type of valve is a quarter turn valve, similar to the ball and plug type valves. That means it can be actuated relatively quickly, only requires 90 degrees of turn in order for it to move from the fully open to fully closed position. For larger valves, you'll actually use a gearbox, which means the response time from fully open to fully closed is slightly longer. However, it does make it easier to actuate the valve because you're using a gearbox. If we look at the body starting at the bottom, we've actually got quite a thin body compared to other types of valve. And we can see that there are also holes here. We would either screw bolts into this body and connect them directly onto flanges for a pipeline, for example, or we could pass bolts directly through and we would then couple the flanges to the butterfly valve. So in summary, butterfly valves are very good at starting, stopping and regulating flow. They're quarter turn valves and they can be operated quite quickly. They only need 90 degrees of rotation to move from fully open to fully closed. They're very good for large flow, low pressure applications, and they offer a significant saving in weight, size and cost compared to other similar valves such as the ball valve. They're good for handling slurries or liquids with a lot of suspended solids. This is because the seating area is actually quite large. The maintenance costs with this type of valve are actually quite low and there are no spaces within the valve where pockets of gas can accumulate. 